If we were given a 900 kilogram car, accelerating at 3.5 meters per second squared against a friction force of 300 newtons, and we were asked to find the four force vectors acting on this car, we would begin by finding first the weight. The weight is always perpendicular to the surface that the object is on. We would then look for normal force, which is exactly opposite of all the downward forces. We would then look for any force of resistance, in this case friction, and then we would look for the force that's propelling the car forward, which would eventually give us our acceleration. We would begin by solving for the weight. Weight is found by taking the mass times the gravity. For this case, we have a 900 kilogram car, and the acceleration due to gravity is 10.0 meters per second squared, which gives us a weight for this automobile of 9,000 newtons. Weight is negative because it acts downward. We would then use the weight to find the normal force. In this case, because there is only one downward force, the normal force would become 9,000 newtons, positive because it is going up. We would next look for the friction force. Friction is given to us in the problem and is negative because it is acting against the flow of the car. The next thing would be to find the force that is propelling the car. In this case, force equals mass times acceleration, which is Newton's second law, F equals MA. Force is found using the 900 kilogram car traveling at an acceleration of 3.5 meters per second squared, which gives us a forward force of 3,150 newtons, thus giving us the four forces acting upon this car. weight normal force, friction, and forward or net force.